Chapter 9, Crimes and Mr. Meir. A few days later, school was back in section. The teacher spot the student's study. And George and Harold went back to their mastiff. After school, George and Harold climbed up into the treehouse to do their homework. The yesterday versions of themselves were busy playing video games and reading comics. How was school how was school today? asked yesterday George. <laughs> said George. Did you learn anything new? asked yesterday Harold. Eh said Harold shuddering. By all appearances, things had finally returned to normal. But that, but at night, Mr. Meir twickered away at a makeshift lavatory inside an old attempted factory near Fra France Pond. He was developing a powerful mind control potion that would, that would. Turn everybody, even the most unruly child, into a brainlessly opulent come forth using a base mi mixture of sodium film roll. Mr. Meir added Libergale, dozens of butyric acid, triponium, and clamato juice. Then he fluttered the solution through an old, dirty pile of stinky gym socks. The concoction smelled terrible, but its, its sensor effect would be even worse. My formula is now ready for human trails, said Mr. Meir, and I knew exactly which two humans I'm going to try it all out on.